welcome back to my channel my name is Frances and today I wanted to get on here and uh, do a video that I was inspired to do because of AKB bags uh, one of her viewers or subscribers had asked her if she could make a video about um, the best bags purses clutches whatever to take on vacation so I thought that's a great idea and I have traveled many places different times of the year and it's always been a struggle which bags do I take you know and often I think to myself when I'm already on my vacation had I known better this is the bag I would have chosen so with a little bit of life experience of traveling and traveling on planes and going to Europe and all of that sort of thing, I thought what I would do is I would share with you uh, bags that I would take to different destinations. So if I'm going to England or if I'm going to Ireland or, you know, one of the islands or something like that, what would I take? Different places, different styles of uh, vacations call for a different style of bag. So that's what I'm going to do today and I would also like to um, link below the video that AKB Bags uh, did on hers and it was amazing and gave me lots of great ideas. I will link her channel or that video down below so don't forget to go and watch that. So anyway, um, let's get started. If you're interested in seeing which bags I would take with me on vacation, then keep on watching. It, we're already in August and I'm already thinking to myself, my next trip is going to be um, my son and daughter-in-law's wedding in Jamaica. What am I taking to Jamaica? It's going to be a beachy wedding, obviously. I'm gonna need something to travel on the plane with. I didn't want a leather bag. A leather bag I just felt was too heavy to have on a, you know, on a Caribbean uh, island. So a lot of you will probably know which bag I've chosen and it's this one. And as of this moment in time, this is the bag I will be taking with me when I leave the house uh, to go to the airport and get on the plane. It's a bag that I don't mind throwing around. I'm going to link it down below or in the description box. I will link it uh, there. You can get it on Amazon. It's a Myra bag and it is in and around the $40 mark. They have other bags, the same design, but with different prints on them, different colors. I love this bag. This was sent to me by Susanna from Suz Watt and I have used it to the max. <clears throat> Doesn't have feet on it, but you know what? I don't mind throwing this around. I could almost say this might even be washable. You could throw it in the washing machine. This is recycled leather. So um, it is leather. It's a stressed leather and it has a nice secure zip on the top which is great. So lots and lots of room inside with a zip pocket on one side and then two slip pockets on the other side. So this is going to hold everything I need um, for the flight there. And during the time I'm there, maybe just, you know, for going down to the bar area, for instance, you know, to have a little cocktail. Even in the evening, you know, I could throw, um, even during the day, I mean, I would take this to the pool. I wouldn't take it to the beach, but I would take it to the pool and take my sunscreen and everything else in it. I like to try and travel as lightly as possible when it comes to handbags because I want plenty of room in my suitcase for all my cute outfits and dresses because I like to dress up and they do have formal evenings into the resort that we're going to. So this is the bag that I am almost 99.9% .9 sure that I'm taking with me to Jamaica. 
Now, the day of the wedding, it's an evening wedding, like an afternoon wedding. So it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be around four o'clock or five o'clock, I believe. So what I wanted for that would be more of an evening bag, but something that's kind of light and, f you know, like a, like a fun bag in the evening that will go with the outfit that I have choos chosen. So I have this little cute little evening bag with frills on it. It's a no name. I bought it on Amazon 20 years ago or 15 years ago. And this is big enough that it will hold my lipstick. Um, it will hold, um, it, it also has an extra chain or you can just carry it like this or it will fit over the shoulder, but it also comes with the longer chain as well which I think is just the cutest little bag. It's in black. Um, and I just thought, this is the bag I need for the evening. Set it on the table. It looks cute with the, the, with the chain and it will go with the outfit that, the dress that I have chosen for the wedding. Um, haven't quite decided 100% sure that that's the dress. It's one that I have in my in my wardrobe, but it's a brand new dress. So I haven't 100% decided yet. <laughs> so indecisive, right? But yes, this is the evening bag. And I think this would look really cute. Kind of looks like a little frilly dress, something that you would wear in a tropical island like Jamaica. So those are the two bags I'm gonna take with me to Jamaica. Now, last year, if you all know me, you know I went to England. I traveled around England. I also did a lot of um, evenings out shopping in London, that sort of thing. And then my niece surprised me with a trip to Paris. So I'm gonna show you what I took with me and I would recommend this bag to take you across Europe um, you can dress it down, you can dress it up, you can wear it shopping, you could wear it anywhere. And this is the bag I chose when I got there, and then I'll show you the bag I chose to get there. And the bag that I chose is Michael Kors Sloan in the color... I'm just trying to remember if I know the color of this bag or not, but it is almost like a um, metallic gold. And the hardware is silver. So it takes on a silver, silver bronzed gold, if that makes sense, because it's cool. It's a cool color of gold. Um, but it's definitely bronzed. Now I chose this, I took this to Paris with me. I wore it day and night. And then I also took it to London when we went into London and we did nightclubs and we did uh, dinner, we did shopping, we did everything. And I love that it can go on your shoulder like this, or if you want to, you can do it crossbody like that. What I like about it is it's dressy. If you're wearing a dress, this will go with anything. This is like a chameleon. It will, it will go with anything that you wear from jeans to a crisp white t-shirt to a dress like this to um, a skirt and blouse. If you're going somewhere really fancy, like a long evening gown, this is gonna go with it. It's gonna go with everything that you have in your wardrobe. Love that it is very secure, beautifully made handbag. I'm so glad I got this bag. I got this bag at a steal from the Michael Kors clearance. Uh, this came from the Michael Kors store in Florida and was mailed up to me. So yeah, I have friends and contacts everywhere. It has a zip pocket at the back and then it has a slip pocket here. Then in the back here, it has a magnetic pocket. 
which if I wanna put my phone in here, my phone will fit in there. And the magnet is wonderful. So it's very secure. And then when you put it on, your phone is at the back, snug to your body. So that's the one that I would take if I were going to Europe. I'd probably take this again. If I go next year, this is probably what I'm gonna take. Or last year that Susanna bought me is this little beauty. And this is the camera bag in the color, again, the color is like oyster, oyster, in the color oyster. So I love this bag. I can dress it up with this chain. I wore it the other day when I went out uh, wedding dress hunting with my daughter-in-law. And so if I were going to Europe, I would probably take this one or this one and put that in my suitcase. Traveling to Europe, I would take Old Faithful, and this is the Murphy backpack in, le in pebble leather in the color Elephant. I would take this again in a heartbeat. I also take this if we're going to concert in the park. I would take this when I take my granddaughter down to the local festival. I'll just fill this up with snacks, and it's got two great pockets here which annoys me because they are not big enough for a water bottle just yet. I'm still trying to stretch them out. So a very small water bottle, but that really, it's just not big enough. Doesn't have feet on it. Probably would be good to have feet on it, even though it is a backpack. So Dooney, if you're watching, put feet on your Murphy backpacks. Then it has the zip at the front here, which I put my passport, anything my um, anything that I need to grab right away, like a lip balm or something like that. And then if you're worried about someone getting into that on your back, you can always carry it with the handle or wear it like this, like a baby on the front, like a little pouch. And then you can hold on to it, but you're still free hands. So that's the one I would take on the plane and it holds a ton of things for your flight. And my flight is eight hours from here to England or Ireland or wherever I'm gonna go in Europe. So this is the bag that I will take next time I am on a flight, a long flight to Europe. So let's say I've decided to go on a road trip here in Canada, or perhaps maybe a road trip down to the United States. Okay, here is a great bag that if you just want to throw it in the car, don't worry about it um, and worry about it getting scratched, the leather getting damaged um, in the car, because I find in the car sometimes your your bag gets pulled in and out all the time you're stopping to go to the bathroom you're stopping to get a snack you're stopping to get a coffee this is a great option and it is the greta print i will um leave the name of it here but it's in the color uh tomorrow brown is it tomorrow brown i should know this i should know this and this is the greta print which is a quilted uh, cotton um, and it's very sturdy it's got feet on the bottom but not only does it have feet it has the strips which I think is a great idea um, and it, it goes over your shoulder there's lots of room uh, it's not you can hold it like that I like it high up it has a really strong magnet at the top and it also comes with the pouch, which is great uh, for holding your, like your passport, your documents, things like that. And it's quite secure in this. And you can also link it to the bag like this. It's got a little, got a little ring here. So you can link it like that and then it's safe in your bag. 
So say you left it open, you were being careless, somebody tried to slip their hand in and grab your pouch and go like that. You're going to feel it immediately. You're going to feel it immediately and you're going to tug it back. So that's a really good idea. And I, that's what I love to use these for, for holding um, like a little pouch with credit cards and things like that, or your money or, you know, um, just anything that you want to make sure that it's safe. If your passport is stolen, you know, you're up a creek without a paddle and it's a whole big hassle. So then it also has two pockets inside here. And then on the other side, it has a slip pocket and it also has a zip here. Again, for if you want to put your passport in there or something like that. And um, it's just a super comfortable bag. You can also clip it in the sides like this if you want it to be really secure and then it turns into a completely different bag altogether so if you want to do that that's pretty as well and that would be my road trip across canada or into the united states and even down into florida if we decided to take that trip down to florida i doubt that's going to happen anytime soon um, if we do go to florida and i'm planning on possibly going to florida next february or early march before march break then um i will fly down so yeah so i might just take that one with me and it would be great because it would take me everywhere around florida um and it's just a no-brainer of an easy bag i wouldn't worry about getting it scratched or dirty or anything like that now i don't have a black bag so i wanted to throw in a bonus bag at the end a uh, classic dooney bag of course none other than my zip zip satchel in black black and this would take you anywhere um, with the exception of a tropical island. Just my opinion, don't shoot the messenger, just my opinion. I wouldn't take this to, I just wouldn't take a bag of this quality even to an island because the heat over there, the black leather, it just, it's just not conducive to the kind of weather and elements that you would be exposing a beautiful stunning bag like this. So I would take this to Europe even. This would be a great bag. You could take this on the plane if you wanted to. It's just great. It's got the zips on uh, all the way, go all the way down. I love the black black. It's beautiful. It also has shoulder strap inside, which I never use. Um, it's one of the older zip zips. So it has this horrible, annoying uh, snap on this pocket. Don't know why you did that, Dooney. That just doesn't make any sense to me. And also, if you can see, let me see if I can show you, it leaves a dent in the leather. So I do not like that. I'm glad they've stopped doing that. Um, it also has a slip pocket on the back here, and then it has a zip pocket here. So you could put your passport in there. It's quite safe. And you can zip it up to the middle, or you could take it all the way down to one side if you wanted to and that classic red lining inside is just beautiful um just you know dress it up with a nice scarf and you know you're all set it's got feet on the bottom with the leather straps which i love and that would be my bonus bag uh if you need to have just one bag only and just make it black because black will go with everything that you have so thanks guys for watching my video. Also, Andrea, uh, thank you so much for doing this video and thank the person who asked you to do it, who, um, whom I don't know. But I wanted to also include that if anyone else wants to do this, please, please do. Um, and do it as maybe not as a tag, but do it as, as like a hashtag, um, hashtag travel bags. And don't forget to, you know, let me know you're doing it and also let Andrea know that she's, that you're doing it so that we can go and look at them and get ideas because that's what we're all about. We're all about a community of gals and guys who love handbags, who are passionate about handbags 
and who want to see what other people travel with. I think it's so interesting. So thanks a lot, everyone. And I'd just like to mention right here that I'm wearing Banana Banana by Larger Sam. And that is uh, my birthday gift from, uh, from Abby with Love when I was in England last year and we met up in Harrods for lunch, shopping, and this is what she presented me with for my birthday. So thank you. Uh, I'm going to link all the, all the channels down below that I talked about. Go watch them, go support them. They're amazing. Take care. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle.